What is prediabetes and why should you be so concerned about it? For the longest time, the way that we have talked about measuring sugars is we look at how sugar attaches to your red blood cells. We call this hemoglobin A1C. Now, there are three values in that that you want to remember. A normal value is when your hemoglobin A1C is less than 5.7. Prediabetes is considered to be 5.7 to 6.4, and diabetes is above 6.5. The reason this matters is we all know that diabetes is bad for you, but oftentimes when patients are in the pre-diabetes categories, doctors will oftentimes say, yeah, your sugar is a little bit elevated. It's not that big of a deal. Well, it turns out it actually is a big deal. When your sugar is elevated, even if it doesn't quite hit that diabetes range, it's still a very big deal. There's a new study that looked at 1.8 million hospitalized patients who basically had an MI going on. This was done through the National Inpatient Sample Database going on. And what was interesting was that the pre-diabetes diagnosis was independently linked to a 25% increased risk for having a heart attack. Now, this 25% risk was there despite the fact that they adjusted for all sorts of things like high blood pressure, obesity, diabetes, smoking, and other things. So even after adjusting that, if you had prediabetes, you had a 25% higher risk of having a heart attack. So in other words, if your sugars are a little bit elevated, not quite at the diabetes level, but even a little bit, your risk of having a heart attack does go up. So what's the take-home point here? If you have issues with your weight, if you have issues with prediabetes, now is an excellent time to take control of your health. Start making simple changes. And what are those changes that we talk about? Focus on eating more plants, whole foods going on. Exercise every day. Best time to exercise is the one that you can stick to. What I tell all my patients, exercise first thing in the morning, because if you do that, it's the best way to do something positive for yourself. Once you do that, you get busy, things come up. It's hard to remember to do those things. So start by exercising first thing in the morning. Cut out refined sugars. Try to do some yoga. Try to do some meditation. Minimize the stress in your life. Make sleep a priority. And most importantly, practice some kindness. Practice some gratitude. Listen, go out and do something nice for somebody. I promise you, it will make you feel so much better. I'll drop your blood pressure, drop your cortisol. And guess what? will actually make your sugars go down by a few points. Thanks so much for watching. As always, if you got a question or a topic you want to know about, drop me a line, selfprincipal at gmail.com. Thank you.